I just found another story concerning Joseph Smith's abuse of his wife, Emma. The story is told by a man named Richard Rushton Jr., who evidently worked as the steward for the Nauvoo Mansion during the 1840s. It was Brother Rushton's job to close up the mansion at night, and he worked closely with Emma Smith, who handled the keys to the building. Two years after his death in 1884, Wilhelm Will published the following story in his book, Mormon Portraits. One afternoon, said Mr. Rushton, after the hurry of the dinner work was over, I was sitting in my little office when looking through the window. I saw the Prophet Joseph followed by the two Partridge girls coming from the back part of the lot and enter, all three, into the little log cabin, which had been the first home in Nauvoo of the Prophet before the mansion was built. A minute or so later, Emma came by and asked him if he had seen Joseph and the Partridge girls enter the cabin. Brother Rushton replied hesitantly that he had seen them. Emma then said, I'll just put on my sunbonnet and go and see what they are about. A very short time later, Emma returned and came to the office door crying bitterly. Oh, Brother Rushton, she said in broken sobs. I went into the cabin. I found those two girls with my husband. And Joseph jumped up in a rage when he saw that I had surprised them and struck me a horrid blow. Rushton said that at the same time, she showed him the mark of the blow on her cheek. She then dropped, fainting on a chair, weeping and uttering words of despair. A few minutes later, Joseph came in and said, Oh dear Emma, I'm so sorry I struck you. I did it in a passion. You must forgive me. I did it without a thought or I wouldn't have done it. Forgive me, but you shouldn't be running after me, watching me and prying at my actions. He then kissed Emma and apologized again. The relationship between Joseph Smith and Emma is nothing like how the church has portrayed it.